So here are the steps for recording a virtual choir video on your desktop computer. And I'm going to use the Mac as my example because that's what I have here at home. To begin with, if you are in a virtual choir that has a Google Drive with all of your materials in there, you're going to go to your shared Google Drive, open up the correct folder, and download your sheet music score. And in this folder, I will also find my guide recording materials. So I'm going to download this soprano guide because that's the part that I would record. And now let's go to my desktop and see what we have here. I have my music score, so I will open that up. That opens up in my PDF reader and you can resize this to however you want on your computer. And my guide video looks like this. There's Scott, my conductor. So I have my guide and I have my music score open here. In this case, we happen to have a guide video that includes the music, so that makes it even easier. I don't have to have my music score open. But let's say that your guide music was actually not a video and just an audio file. In that case, you need to open it up, but you don't need to have it in front of you. You just need to hear it. Then you want to open up your recording program or your recording application. In this case, I'm going to use my QuickTime player and you would use the option new movie recording, which is grayed out right now because I already have it open. My video camera is right here at the top of my computer. So I like to put this preview video right up at the top so that it looks like I am looking at you when I'm looking at myself on the screen. Then you can have your music right underneath that in a place where you can scroll and read the music and record your video. Or in the case of this handy dandy guide video that has the music already on it, you can just put that right up next to your recording window. And there's one other really important thing you need to have when you're recording a virtual choir or any virtual instrument. You need to have your headphones. And the reason why you need to have your headphones is because when you're listening to the guide track, you don't want to record the guide track. You only want to record your voice. So the guide track needs to be only playing in your ears. Now you don't have to have big clunky headphones. You could have earbuds that are a little less noticeable if that's what you want to do. So usually your guide video or your guide audio track will have some instructions in the beginning. So make sure you read that. Do what it says. Have your headphones. Make sure you also hit the record button on your recording device. And then you sing through and when you get to the end usually you should wait. And in this case the video tells us to wait. Hold your position and then you're done. And that's because you don't want to start reaching over and hitting your off button before the music is done because that will look silly in the final video. It's just like a real performance. You've got to sit there and hold your choir music up until the performance is done. Then you can put it down. So don't end before it's done. When you're done, you hit your stop button. Make sure to save your file somewhere that you can find it, usually on your desktop. That's easy. You probably should put your name in the file and the name of the project or something that's easy to identify instead of just image 7942 because then it's hard for your choir director to know whose video that is. So put your name on it. Uh, and then you will go to your Google Drive and in this case we actually have a submissions folder so you can go in there, you go to your desktop, you find the video that you just saved and you can drag it right into that folder. It's super easy to do. So there you go. I hope this helps you record your virtual choir video. Have fun!